hypocrites. Well did Isaiah prophesy about you, saying, These people draw near to me with their mouth, and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me, and in vain they worship me, teaching as doctrines the commandments of men. Basically that last line meaning, taking rules man has made up in his head and teaching them as if they came from God. Matthew 15, verses 7 through 9. There's a lot of folks out there that wonder what my problem is with Mr. Trump and why it seems like I'm on his opponent's side. I'm not. But the one thing that is far worse to me than anything else is hypocrisy. And I've got something to share with you in today's video that I think will make a lot of Christians take a second look. But real quick, battlefield of the mind. When you divorce yourself from your emotions when it comes to your political opinions, nothing that is said on the news affects you one way or the other. The only litmus test that you have is, does this move me toward the goal of salvation, or does this move me away from it? And right now, there's a guy out there who has deceived an enormous amount of people. He is a huge hypocrite. If you'd like to join us, Florida Maquis Patreon channel, one US dollar per month, lowest allowable level, even less if you sign up for an entire year, fully refundable, first 90 days, no questions asked. Now, if you want to know the scripture that was being referenced in the New Testament, speaking of Isaiah, it's Isaiah 32 and 6. For the vile person will speak villainy, and his heart will work iniquity to practice hypocrisy and to utter error against the Lord, to make empty the soul of the hungry, and he will cause the drink of the thirsty to fail. Now, some might be saying, Florida Maki, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? I mean, how can you not follow Trump? Well, let me explain what's happening. See, a few years ago, there was this issue, this issue pardon me, with Riley Gaines and this very mentally ill individual who thought he was a girl, who wanted to go out there and swim as if he was a girl, and there's all these problems. And you stood against that, and I stood with you. And I'm like, I'm right with him. I'm absolutely right with him. This is absolutely wrong. And here in Florida, we did something about it. The governor actually proclaimed her to be the winner. In the state of Florida, that's what we recognize. And then this happened. And you stood against it. And I stood with you. Absolutely. Horrible, horrible situation. And believe me, Anheuser-Busch paid the price. And now more recently, this is the Olympics, so it's not really America. But this guy got in the ring and pretended it was a she and knocked around a bunch of women and people were mad. And I stood with you. Well, then Florida Maquis, you're talking about hypocrisy. What are you talking about? This is what I'm talking about. Wait a minute, that's totally different. That person, that person supports Donald Trump. Yeah, you see my point? You see my point? You see, your litmus test is no longer right and wrong biblically. Your litmus test is, does the person support Trump? Then they're good. If they don't support Trump, then they're bad. That's my point. All of a sudden, nobody has a problem with Bruce, Caitlin, whatever, Jenner. Because this individual came out, make-believe, pretend woman, and supported Donald Trump. And so nobody has a problem. It goes even farther. Everybody loves this, according to YouTube anyway, everybody loves this guy. Dave and his husband, Dave, Dave Rubin, the right-wing commentator who loves Donald Trump. Who him and his sodomite partner decided to basically turn women into baby factories. Posing with Donald Trump. Well, we got to take allies where we can... No. No. I have a different, different litmus test than you. And it gets even worse. This woman. Disagree with her on a great many things. And you can quote me there. Disagree with her on a great many things. But the one thing you want to bring up is 30 years ago, 
30 years ago when she was in her 20s. The man she's standing with here was going through a divorce. He was living separately, Willie Brown, living separately from his wife. His wife was actually dating another man at the time too. And Kamala Harris dated Willie Brown. And you want to bring this up as some evidence that she is morally unsound. When I can show you, I mean thousands of pictures of Don. Here's him, Hugh Hefner, Holly, and his half-dressed wife. Here's him, Honest Don, the Bible salesman, and his half-dressed daughter and his half-dressed wife. Here's him, his third wife, his daughter, and a bunch of Playboy bunnies at the Playboy Mansion. You know, his daughter. You know. And I wish I could, uh, I'll share you the link with this. Donald Trump partying with Jeffrey Epstein, 1992. See, this is only a couple of years before that issue with Kamala Harris. Donald Trump partying with Jeffrey Epstein. You could actually Google that. I could probably play this and not and get away with it, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna because it's it's so absolutely disgusting that he invites him into his mansion here, and then he sits around and they're watching a bunch of Buffalo Bills and Miami Dolphins cheerleaders dancing and making lewd and lascivious comments about them. Him and Jeffrey Epstein making jokes. But Kamala wants to take your guns. That might be right. So does he. So does he. After that happened down in Parkland, see, that got a little too close for Trump. See, Trump was a big talker back in 2016 about the Second Amendment until something happened to hop, skip, and a jump from Mar-a-Lago. A lot of people don't realize that shooting that happened in Parkland, that was right down the road. And all of a sudden, the entire story changes. You see, that's my issue. And everything that I'm showing you, everything that I'm showing you is factually provable. During these times, all those images that I showed you, he was a Democrat. He was a Democrat. When Donald Trump talks about not being things not being fair and lawfare, you misunderstand. He's not saying that what he was doing wasn't illegal. What he was saying is that it is illegal and all sorts of other Democrats get away with it and nobody does anything about it. He even said that in this debate with Hillary Clinton. Remember when she confronted him about the huge tax write-off, about him not paying taxes? And he said, yeah, so do her donors. Soros and all those guys. So he wasn't making the allegation that what he has done and been charged with wasn't by letter of the law illegal. The reason he's saying that it's unfair is because now that he's a Republican, he's not getting away with it. Like he did when he was a Democrat. Getting away with all sorts of things. And believe me, this is from 92. And there's a whole bunch of drunk young girls. Whole bunch of drunk young girls. And he's got his hands everywhere on all of them. I mean, you can do the math. On 1992, what was that? 35 years ago? 34, 33? See what's 8 and, 20, 8 and 24, 32, 32 years ago, and he's 79, so he would have been 47 in this picture, and these girls are all in their 20s. I'm just not going to listen to it, because I know what the Bible says about hypocrites. I mean, it's just, I, I, when Jesus came across the woman, came across the men who were getting ready to stone the woman caught in adultery. What, what were they? What were they? They were hypocrites. That's right. Those among you 
who are without sin cast the first stone. He among you without sin cast the first stone. They all dropped their stones, walked away. And then he told her, go and sin no more. Hypocrites. That's my problem. I was with you. This is wrong. This is absolute full grown men walking into into women's bathroom. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Should not be allowed to be an influencer. Should not be allowed. This is just horrible. But when it comes to somebody who joins you down on your knees in front of Mr. Trump, worshiping and adoring and applauding and tears rolling down your face and all that kind of stuff, all of a sudden, your litmus test, your litmus test becomes very clear. Your litmus test, litmus test is no longer the Bible. It's rules of men. Rules of men. The vile person will speak villainy. Heart will work iniquity. Practice hypocrisy. These people draw near to me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. And in vain they worship me, teaching, as if it were doctrine, the rules made up in men's heads, the commandments of men, small c, small m. So, I hope this cleared things up for you. Am I going to vote for her? No. No. For the reasons I've already outlined. But this guy? Come on. Give me a break. I mean, if there was ever a charlatan in politics, say what you want about her. I disagree with her on a great many things. Great many things. Won't vote for her because of that. But at least she's not pretending. At least she's not pretending. See, what she said she won't take your guns. Well, I think that was a fib. I think that was a fib. It would take an act of Congress to do that. But this guy came out and said he would take your guns, but now he's saying, you know, there's there's no difference there. You think there is and there's not. So I will leave it there. There was something else I was going to share. I'll have to share it over on Patreon about John Bon Jovi and... Something happened on a bridge, and that's all I can say. But there's something about it that I think a lot of people would find, well, I can't even say that word. So, I will leave it there. Would love to have you guys join us at the Patreon channel. Make a huge difference in my life. It's only a dollar. It's only a dollar. And trust me, there's a lot of information over there that just isn't allowed on YouTube. So, God bless. Pray for each other. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Lift each other up. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.